Hey everybody, welcome to another video analysis. Um, on demand, you know, there's no day set for it, I'm just doing it as it goes. Um, so this is a matchup between Mario and uh, one of our snakes, uh, Molotov. Molotov? Yeah. Well, it's, I haven't seen this set before, I think I saw it, bri um, saw it briefly, but I haven't taken a good look at it. So everything you see here is going to be quite reactionary. Um, but yeah, we'll give it a shot, let's get into it. So, what's the plan here? Alright, I missed the start there. Nice grab. Okay, so... You stood in grenade stands for a little too long. Um, you gotta realize here that Mario is very fast, so... And also you were you you had it around the wrong way, so what was the plan here? Was it to just drop it and jump, uh, so you could zone the edge? Um, but in this case, like zoning the edge isn't exactly a good move. Maybe you were trying to catch, like bait him into the grenade. But um, realize that Mario is really fast here, and if if you stay in grenade stands too long, um, you're just gonna get grabbed. The thing is, like, what are you? What's the plan with this grenade? I'm hoping you were just using it to zone because you kind of turned around the wrong way. Okay, so, so what was the plan? You you grenade stance here, and then, then what? Were you gonna shield? If you're shielding, maybe it's unfortunate. I decided to do a grab instead. So you did do a shield. I think I saw that. That's your shield right there, and you get grabbed instead, so that's kind of unfortunate. So I guess you were anticipating a um, dash attack here. Okay, nice dodge back on. It's very fast, so I can't really fault that. Okay, you're pulling out a grenade here. So, were there any better options? So. Okay, so your keys with the Mario, he's off the edge. Okay, so it's you here, and the Mario's already recovered. So I'm not sure if you'll have any enough, enough time with this grenade coming out to do whatever you want with it. Because once again, you're you are turned around. I, I think, I'm starting to see the, like the core of your strategy here. I think your core of your strategy is is that you're just shield dropping grenades and hoping to catch them, which works for very fast characters but maybe there is a better option here i would say um i mean before when you had the grenade shield you, you just you just held on to it and i think you were just trying to like walk over to the mario and then just shield it and hopefully they hit the grenade and you know that's a good trade i think you're trying to do the same thing here um and I don't, and personally, I don't think it's aggressive enough because the Mario just recovered. So either you, you're going to have to start covering like one of three options, the roll, the stand up and the high recovery. Um, this grenade doesn't really do anything except for anticipating the get up attack, right? Cause the roll is going to go right past and it's not going to trigger the grenade. Um, the high jump isn't going to trigger the grenade either. So this decision here to pull out a grenade really only covers one option. So not really that great. I think here instead, instead of pulling a grenade, just sort of like dash dance and react to whatever happens, right? Because you don't have enough time to do any setup. So yeah, watch. Yeah, just watch watch this, right? Because Mario is super fast. You can't afford to, you know, invest a lot of time um, here because you don't have any time at all. All right, so you got what you wanted, but then I think you got hit before the shield could expand enough, so your shield went down right after. So not the best option. So Mario went for a jump and an attack. So unless you were reading that, which you know, only six seconds into the match, I doubt you read that. Well, nine seconds. I think it started at seven. So nine seconds of the match. Doubt you read that. So, I don't know, in this case, if I was, if I was you in that situation, I would be, uh, dash dancing. So, if I, if I, and then react accordingly.
but here you are very committed to that grenade. I'm not sure why Mario decided to go for that trade. If he didn't land that kick, it wouldn't have been a good trade for the Mario. But yeah, just just watch how much time you have, especially with a fast character, because you don't have a lot of frames to spare. Nice. Wow, I didn't even see that C4 drop. When did that happen? I missed that totally. When did that C4 drop happen? I want to see when that happened. That C4's already there. Did you just put that down at the beginning of the match? Man, I didn't even see that. Right, you did it right here. Okay. Alright. See, like, uh, I totally respect that in that case. But the idea, like... Knowing that we had the C4 there, and then you put a grenade here, like basically that's maybe the roll option covered. So we got to start locking down the other areas. So if you had C4 already here, then I would be um, reacting. Just dash dance here and react to whatever the Mario does. If he goes high, you come in with a reverse back air, right? If he stands up, go in for a grab. If he goes for the attack, dash it out a little, wait for the attack to go down, then grab. You know? um, if he rolls past, if you go, if you like dash in, he rolls past you, detonate C4. So you start thinking about how to shut down these options. Yeah. That was unfortunate. Um, but maybe, uh, yeah, yeah, I can't really say anything. It's, uh, it's unfortunate that you missed it. Okay, so he picked up your grenade. Alright. So, try and be comfortable with... I know you're trying to zone here, but it's too... It's, it's too obvious that it's undercooked. So, maybe, maybe the better option here would be to just pick up the grenade, right? Because if you leave the grenade here, it's just going to cover this section, right? Because you just dropped the grenade and it's going to stay there. Um, and I'm, I see you're trying to set up a minefield for this Mario, yeah? But the better option here would be you drop a grenade, you pick it up, and then you run so to you know run out the timer a bit. And then you can just react to where the Mario is going. If the Mario is going to come in for a fair, you could just short hop, throw the grenade. And if it's cooked enough, it'll explode in the air. So, like, the explosion is almost as big as the distance from, like, here to here. It's, like, almost, almost with, like, one platform. So, think about that. If you had that grenade in your hand, you could have just thrown it. So you basically zone this entire stage based on, like, the timing, right? So you could throw it across, you... You, you zone here, you zone, basically you zone left and right, and directly upwards as well. So, pick up this grenade. I think a picked up grenade is way more useful than a grenade on the floor. Um, right? Because it's harder to defend against a cooked grenade, especially one that's thrown at you. They have to react very quickly to do that. But leaving it on the floor here, not so great and you and like if you are gonna leave it on the floor here at least try and be in a position so that if it if it does blow up and it does catch tomorrow you're ready to capitalize right I mean that's the whole idea behind this plan you're setting up a minefield so you can like land in some kicks quite safely I think you were very you were so far away when the Mario picked this up <laughs> Yeah, okay, so you go for down tilt and Mario didn't happen. I think you were anticipating a very aggressive Mario. You did a down tilt, which didn't do anything. It's wasted movement. Um, and then you backed off even more because the Mario finally came. So, yeah, I'm, I think you're just panicking a little too much. Like, there's a lot of movement here that could be tightened up. Um, you're like two steps ahead of this Mario. In this case, it's it's not that great because you're just so far away and you're not landing anything. Even gave the Mario enough time to pick up your own grenade and used it against you. 
Okay, so blow up. See how, see what the Mario is doing? Mario had a perfectly, you should be doing what the Mario is doing. Mario picked up a grenade. It's pretty cooked now. Gets in that explosion, Mario rushes in. And he hits you with a up air, I think. Yeah, so you should be doing that as Snake. So, that that's your move. He's stealing your move, man. Alright, maybe the C4 wasn't so great in this position, so you wanted to relocate it. But was now, like, such a good time to detonate it? Because I would say that detonating it here... Like, wherever that is. Detonating it here isn't doing much for you. Right, you could have left the C4 there and then, like, dropped below the platform and ran across a bit out of the blast radius. Or I think, even, test this in the lab. See if you could drop a C4 here and then, like, lie perfectly flat on the stage so you're below the blast radius and then detonate the C4 on the ground. I believe that's a move you could do. Um, so, yeah, I think that would have been a better use of that C4 because... The, the fact that it was there, like, just providing pressure, is is still more than detonating it here. So, questionable C4 explosion. Okay, so you dropped a grenade, you went for a throw. Uh, the debt didn't have enough time on the grenade, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> Okay, so I hope that was a flub. You fired the Nikita in the wrong direction. You also threw a grenade in the wrong direction. You let it go. Like, why did you let it go? I hope that was a flub. Right, so you... Where was the grenade? Okay, so you had a grenade all the way here and you decided to toss it. Um, was it reacting to this? Is that what, was, what happened? I'm just trying to figure out. Alright, so you had... Heaps of time. Okay, so you had heaps of time to, you know, like do do a grenade pickup. See, I'm I'm starting to see a weakness here. You're not very comfortable in picking up your own grenades. So here you pulled out a grenade, you invested some time putting out a grenade, but then you threw it all the way over here. Like you could have just held on to grenade stands and then like dropped it and then do a um uh, an aerial grab of the of the grenade so if you don't know how to do it ask me and I'll make a video about it but basically right when you drop a grenade like there is a very large window where you could just jump and grab and when you do that like it's just Y and Z and if you have your control scheme set up um, you know Y at the top of the game can control it is just like a pinch so you so it's like a pin so the Y you press the Y button to jump and then you press the Z to grab it's just a pinch so it's really easy to pull off. And then, you know, when you... But in doing so, you do a short hop. So, but at the same time, when you do a short hop, you can move. So it's sort of like a grab and movement all in the same move, right? You get a two for one special package here. And when you do that grab, you can choose um, to space a little more or go a bit more aggressive. If you're going more aggressive, then you'll have a grenade in your hand. So you can do a kamikaze. Um, if you're spacing a little more, you can run down the, you know, the fuse and then go for like an air burst grenade, right? Cooked grenades are good. They taste good, I promise. <laughs> yeah, you deserve that punish. You fired in the wrong direction. I hope that was a flub. And also like, you could have gotten out of this. I think, like, I believe you could have gotten out of this. After, so he grabbed you, you could have teched this, right? So teching, you can shield, like, as you land, and then choose a direction, or not choose a direction, and then you just, um, pretty much do this thing that's sort of like a spot dodge. So you could just kick it. It's called a kip up, I think. You can do a kip up, uh, but tech your landings, man. Tech your landings. So here, when he threw you up here, shield, would have you would have recovered faster, and then this Mario wouldn't be able to, you know, punish you for not uh, taking your landings. Okay, so that's... that was interesting. Did the Mario panic? 
Is that what happened? Could be reverse. I don't know what the Mario story was though. Okay, so the Mario had a the Mario had a landing. Just just had landing lag, I think. That's what seemed to have happened. But you had a grenade in your hand at the time. So it's hard to judge like what to do here. Um hmm. I would say like you did the right thing and then you could have also like played chicken. Grenade chicken, which is like, you know, you have a grenade in your hand, you just hold shield, and if they grab you, both of you are going to get exploded, right? But that's not really a good trade, because you take the grab damage and the grenade damage. Um, so what could have you done there? Um, I guess you could have, like, got rid of the grenade, I guess. You could bounce it off the ground. I'd say maybe the best situation here is you throw the grenade on the ground. So it would rebound and cover the high option, and then you can go in for a grab. Um, but you know, this is not so bad. You managed to punish the Mario. That's good. I mean... Okay, so... You had enough time to throw the grenade and throw out an attack. So could you have come out combo the grenade and the attack at the same time so here maybe something for you to lab later is in that situation where you we have someone below a platform you have a grenade maybe like you could turn this into a combo so you could throw the grenade on the floor it'll rebound off the floor and for some reason right the physics behind this are, are like screwed are like so cooked but the grenade will bounce to the exact same height no matter what the fuse, right? It'll bounce and then it'll slow down to a, and and like at the apex it'll just be a perfect like it'll be it'll hover at a perfect height. That height is exactly like two double jumps. So you could you could um bounce off the floor. It, it's exactly, if you actually try this in the lab, you, you get, a, get a grenade and then you bounce it off the floor, like as you're standing on it, it'll reach the top, like inside the top platform every time. So it's it's like a really magical height. So try this in the lab. When you when, when you do this maneuver, um, try like when you hold the grenade, like bounce it off the floor, grab, and then up through it into the grenade. Um, it's, it's a lot to ask, but I think I think that would have made a really really hype moment right here if you manage to combo into the grenade. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah, but anyways, it's it's still good punish. You didn't get hit by your grenade. You, you good punish. Good four tilt. So that C four was a bit unfortunate. See like. You could have you could have comboed this into the C4. I think you waited too late here. So maybe this is just uh, I don't know if you were aware of the C4. I think you were. It's all about timing, right? But work on that, right? Figure out a good distance, like the good like the best distance to throw, and then you know use the C4. C4 like in this game comes out really late, like even after you press the command. So. If you tighten this up, that would have pro that would have been an awesome combo. So that's that's the pro that's a project M combo. You throw someone into into like an explosive. So yeah, um, tighten up on that. See, so like you had all that running space, and you know you could have just hit the Mario as he was flying off from your throw. So that was really late. Okay, so you pick up your own grenade, and the Mario didn't even do anything. Okay, so the Mario had the perfect time to get up. So, what could you have done? Alright, so, so this is a good spot, right? You have a grenade waiting, right? And, and so, you have one option, like, 
I think two options covered, right? So you, you have a get up attack covered, you have stand up covered. So once again, think about like, let's start doing a read here. Do you, like at least cover one option, right? It's impossible to, for you to cover all three options without expert reading. And even if you don't have a read, like just make one, like a, uh, a, a, as they say, right? A badly, a bad plan done well is still a still better than a well planned, or a good plan done badly. So just pick one, right? Pick an option to cover, because obviously the Mario can't stay here. Um, so my prediction here is the Mario will try to go for center. So if I leave the grenade here and then go for like, you know, like a jump forward air. That's the read I would make. So just just pick one. Like, but instead, you don't. I don't think you'd do anything. Okay, so you pick up your grenade. Mario chooses to stand up. So, yeah, like you you could have just left the grenade there. You could have even just walked backwards, left it alone, and react to the Mario rolling left. And maybe you'd have a Nikita by then, or you have like a second grenade cooked up. So, just. Just pick one, man. Um, it's really unfortunate. I guess, see, like, you went for, you went for the dash attack. Like, you, what for, you already had, you already had the stand-up, you had this option covered by the grenade, so. Try and cover more than one, is my advice here. Okay. What was that? That's good, good C4. See how, like, don't be afraid to pick up your grenades and throw it somewhere else, especially somewhere more useful. So it's unfortunate that, you know, the Mario didn't hit your grenade, but that's gonna happen a lot. bit late on that up tilt. So you dropped a grenade there, uh, hoping the Mario would hit it. Didn't hit it. Fine. Um, drop C4 here. And then went for the C4 kill. Pretty good. Hmm. Nice. So, yeah. Improve of this move. I don't know. I think like, if you drop that, that grenade there, you could have gone into the C4 a lot faster. Just, either, either, like, just leave the grenade, or... Mm, there's nothing much you could do for that grenade. The fuse has already run short. I mean, you, the only move to do there would be to kamikaze. Like, you grab the grenade, drop below stage, um, do an aerial dodge, so you won't take damage. You could have done that. Um... But yeah, there's not much to say. Pretty, it's good that you got the C4. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Trapped in your own shield. Okay, so what was the plan here? All right, maybe maybe you just couldn't react to that. I mean, like, yeah. It's unfortunate trade. Alright. So what did the Mario do there? So, I still can't see what the Mario did. Okay, so the Mario dash attacked into the edge. You did not sweet spot this. Hmm, unfortunate. So, I, like... See, like, I'm starting to see read your, like, ed your recovery off stage, and that's simply just to dodge into the stage. But you see how that didn't work out for you? Right? So, you need to explore more options to recover. Like, you could have been patient, right? You could have dropped off a little more with some distance, pull off a, a, a cipher, and then go just sweet spot that edge. Because, you know, this, this dodge into edge is not, not great. Especially if you miss, um, 
And also, like, you didn't, you didn't, like, dodge into the edge, so you didn't even grab it. So you still had to do something out of it, so... Like, I feel like dodges into edge require so much precision in where you dodge, like, the distance you dodge. Here, you, you did an aerial dodge way too close to the edge, so maybe even if you did do a dodge into the edge, it would, you would just, like, go at a oblique angle underneath the stage. <laughs> and that's really bad, because the end lag is bad, and then you'd be too close to the floor to do anything. So, yeah, like, mix up, mix up your recovery options here. I'm seeing, I'm seeing this a lot, and I think this is going to be a weakness for you in future games. So what was the C4 for? Okay, so... That was a high recovery. Could have had... Could have done a C4 drop on later. Or you could have... You could have also done a grenade. Um, I would say, like, here, you already used your Cypher. Maybe grenade is the best option. Um, but if anything, right, like, you don't have to be too fancy. If you predict the Mar just predict the Mario, what the Mario is going to do. I think the Mario doesn't even have, like, that big a hitbox anyway. So it's really, it's still a viable option to dodge through the Mario back onto stage, right? Um, and if you do it right, like, next to, like, a platform, you can wave land. So, Waveland is where you dodge directionally into the ground, so you you move as you come out of that dodge animation, or landing lag, whatever, whatever the case may be. So, in this instance, like, you didn't have to be that fancy. Like, you didn't have a lot of time, you weren't really that far away anyway, and you were going for, you know, the director stage. So, like, dodging through the Mario, probably your best option, right? Um... Because the Mario just reacted to your, like, your back air, your bear, and then just hit you, and you got punished. Oh, that grenade saved you. I think that grenade saved you. Like, what'd you do here? An up air? That was a good up air. But, uh. Oh, nice kamikaze. No, oh, that back air. Alright. So, I wonder if you're doing what pizza does. Okay. So, you're lucky the Mario is. Okay. So, the thing you have to watch out here is, is that you're. Because you're using slower moves, it doesn't look like it. But you're attacking the Mario when he's still invincible. And we gotta stop doing that, because it's it's not it's not good for our health. Alright, so he, the Mario's invincible. You should be thinking about being very defensive and just evade, right? Any any like damage you take from this Mario being invincible is totally preventable. Okay, so I think you could have I think you could have like Maybe, like, dash attacked here. Like, you had your shield up, so maybe, like, shield grab? I think you could have capitalized on that, like, Nikita coming down. Mm. I guess it was an unfortunate time to drop your shield. Um, high ground is bad. Could you have prevented it? Thing is, you chose to be on this this ledge. You could have come to ground quite easily. Well, I guess not. The Mario was here too. So when the Mario like dashed over here, you could have taken center stage. There's no need to be too aggressive here. See, so realize that you have the advantage, right? Because you're at high damage. But you have a stock, so try, ring out every bit of value you have out of that last stock. So that means you could just run away forever, and and just drop, just litter the ground with grenades and landmines. And any 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 one that lands, 
on the Mario is just is just bonus, right? So so here just play really defensive. Let the Mario overcommit, right? Hold grenades, evade, evade like clear engagements, but basically you're just trying to like just get extra damage in before you die. Any any extra damage will make your next stock way more easier because you know like you've 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 you, you, you squeezed out that value right and that's what you should be seeking to do here I'm not sure like if engaging here is a good idea and it was also just an unfortunate time to drop shield right but yeah spot dodge I guess uh, just unfortunate well at least you got like a 19.6 lead on this Mario but it could have been more Really, 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 really high investment on this mortar. You didn't even land it, so you wasted your invincibility here. So you dropped a grenade. And you did a light toss, you went into... Maybe you were just predicting the Mario to be here, but realize that up smash is very... It's very, very, it's a high investment because it comes out so slow. So, I think, like, you should just use your invincibility. Like, be very, just super aggressive. Like, do moves that, you know, usually you would get slapped for. I think what I try to do when I have invincibility is I'll try to go for a grab. Because grabs are, like, the most easiest thing to, to, um, combo off. And because the Mario is like at very like low percent, um, I think, like I haven't watched the video in great detail, but I think the guaranteed combo there is back throw dash attack. So just be wary of that. Like you could have just grabbed him, right? Or anything. Just grabbed him and then do like a combo. This, this is like a really slow option and super avoidable. Even the grenade that you like pulled out earlier, I don't think it's gonna hit the Mario. My mistake, it does. But good, good um, capitali capitalizing into the back air right here. But it misses. Forward air whips. It's good up tilt. So I don't know if I can improve any of this. Good up tilt. See, once again, like this grenade, I'm not sure it's providing a lot of value for you. Like when the Mario's up here, um, you could do a mortar here, but it would probably not hit the Mario as fast as you think. So in this case, the Mario's up here, you don't have any moves fast enough to catch him. So I would try and just build up. So in this case, start cooking a grenade, which I think you actually do, but you don't even pick it up again and you just leave it there. Alright, also like, I noticed, like, I've, I've noticed by watching uh, uh, Swiss's videos that we snakes tend to roll out of dropping grenades a lot. So we gotta find better alternatives, boys. So you drop a grenade here and you're going for a roll. So this move right here is, is getting, in the community, it seems super predictable. So we gotta start finding other options out of this. In this case, a good option would be to do the um, the jump aerial grab. So pick up that grenade with a jump. So the jump pick up grenade. Yeah, the jump grenade. Pick it up as you're jumping, I think is a good move here. And then you could cook it, and then you could follow up an attack with, you know, a cooked grenade. Okay, so the Mario opted to hit you. You traded a grenade for him. You got an air, so... All right, all in all, all right. Yeah. Up air, really? Not, not a. Uh, when, when the Mario is this close, just tilt, man. Just, just run and tilt. In this case, you, you probably were fast enough. Like you hit him, he's gonna be stunned on the platform. So, as soon as you land, just, just reposition a bit, up tilt. The up air, I think, is too slow. Yeah. This 
this really like this mortar. Okay, so what could you have done? So try this. Instead of this opening here. Alright, so Okay. So so you got the edge. So so one thing you could do is like just drop a grenade here and then C4 the platform, right? It, this covers the edge somewhat temporarily and this covers the um the platform recovery and as as you're jumping backwards put the c4 here the timing is almost immediate as soon as you jump do that you know jump as soon as you do that jump put down a c4 like do down b and then as you come down the animation should put the put the uh c4 on the platform so then by the time you get down you'll be down here somewhere by the time that finishes You'll have, you'll have a grenade on the platform, you have a C4 on, or no, you have a grenade on the edge, and you have a C4 on the platform. So that's two options covered. And then, if the Mario takes too long, you could basically fire an Nikita, and then do, do this thing called, what I call, like, Nikita stacking. So, when you come back here, and, like, you know, the Mario's still off the edge, you can, like, fire an Nikita, and then, if the Mario doesn't you know, react and waits, you could just fire that, like, curve that Nikita upwards, and then, like, you know, make it go ballistic, like SpaceX, and then, you know, pick your moment, and, and cancel it, so that's effectively a timed remote bomb, basically, the further up you let it go, the longer, the longer fuse it will have, with experience, you can get this, and your C4, and your grenades to explode at the same time, so it, work on that timing, like try that. That's like the elaborate setup that I try and do. Grenade on the edge, C4 up here, Nikita in the middle. And then with the Nikita, right, you could fire it. So firing the key Nikita covers the roll option, covers the stand up option, covers the attack option. Um, you could even like mix it up by um, like, you know, you could wobble the Nikita to make it go slower. And then, you know, they're still waiting on the edge. So in the last moment, instead of going ballistic, you can actually turn it into the ground. And then that area of expo that area of effect will hit them on the edge. So there's so much you could do um, with the Nikita movement once you have this set up. So you know, try that. I think that's a better um, setup than grenade. Um, grenade, uh, up smash. You gotta realize that the Mario is like super far away, so you have all this time to do this building. So by the time the Mario gets back, you'll have like three options covered instead of the one. So try that. That's that's the setup that I brought from Project M. I did it all the time. It was amazing. So yeah, try that. It also makes you like super safe. You're you take center stage, and then the Mario is all the way out here trying to deal with this minefield. So basically you're trying to build like a massive base, right? Just layers and layers of explosives. So worth doing. Oh, and then like another thing you do is like you can make the miss like stack the Nikita. So you, you make it go ballistic and then you can fire another Nikita. So as the Nikita is coming down, you have a grenade. The grenade, grenade probably exploded by now. So, but you have a ballistic Nikita coming down. So the Nikita is covering this option again. You have another Nikita being fired, because this is ballistic, so you can pull out another one. So ballistic, fires another one, you cover the roll option, you cover the get up. You basically have all options covered. And if they decide to wait on the edge, this one you just fired, just ram it into the ground and just hit them. It's like it's like super, super awesome setup. And only Snake can do this. So you're the only character that can shut down effectively three options, right? So worth looking into. Okay, so, you know, you got out of that, but you went for a forward air. So, like, I do this as well, and I panic, and I just jump. So, but, if you are going to jump, and do an aerial, like, do a down air. Right? At least, at least the down air gives you like a little bit of float and it's multi-hit so it has a higher chance of hitting. So you do a down air here instead of a forward air. Um, 
The other thing is, is that when you shield, you can just up tilt out of it, right? Up tilt comes out really fast. Better option out of shield. Um, grabs out of shield. Grabs will allow you to capitalize, but I think you need to be at a really, like, at the optimum distance for a grab to be pulled off because it's slow, but it allows, it's, it's like a high risk, high reward move where you could, like, you always, every, at any percentage, you have, like, a true combo. It's just a matter of memorizing that system um, and capitalizing, right? So, in this case, like, if you got the grab off, it'd be down through and I think up tilt. So, higher reward option really depends but you know mix it up see what you like but that fair super slow should be on the bottom of that list so if you are going to choose an aerial choose down air it'll lock the mario in place at least <laughs> yeah. okay that was a flub you have like a side smash here don't know why like maybe I'm seeing, seeing these flubs and strange options out of shield. Um, try, maybe it's worth looking into remapping your C stick into tilts if you haven't already. Um, so you have like a guaranteed, you know, fast move at your disposal wherever you want because, uh, frankly, these, these side smashes shouldn't happen. Um, I think you're trying to like get into a dash and you're pressing A too early. But if you have a tilt ready, you can just throw out a tilt and not worry about it. So may, consider consider maybe remapping your C-Stick. I don't think it's happening just yet. Or at least like if you have a remap, it's like start deprogramming that reaction, right? Just just flick the C-Stick, man. Just, just flick it, everything will be good. good juggle. See, like, the C4 explosion... Uh, were you trying to drop it on the Mario here? If so, then... I think you need to be more aware of where you're dropping your stuff. Because, like, with Snake, it's it's very much a, a chess game, right? You gotta know where your pieces are, and you know, you gotta know, like, when to use them. So, I think, yeah, you, f you just plain forgot where the C4 was. So, that was kind of wasted movement right there. So C4 into grenade, you pull a grenade so to reset, but the Mario's still juggling you dude, so yeah, it's not great. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so the Mario does an up B, quite weirdly. You do an up tilt. Okay, did the Mario pick up the grenade? I think you did, so... Um, not much I can say about that, you did a kamikaze. You did an up tilt into a forced kamikaze, you, you picked up your own grenade. Generally, I don't like hanging around where I've dropped grenades and have no time to pick them up. Generally, I just disengage at that point and then use the time, you know, that they spend avoiding that grenade explosion to set up the next best thing. So I think here, uh, maybe disengaging and repositioning would have been better. This is like a very aggressive move. Um, like, if the Mario didn't do that up B, you would be so punished right now. So punished. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> You're trying to get through the stage, but you ended up humping it. <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be like the the uh, the the thumbnail of the video. Just you humping the stage. Oof! Come on, man. Okay. So you already had a grenade, where did that come from? Alright. Interesting, so you go from grenade into up B. Has this tactic ever worked? I don't know if you have enough time to do anything because... Unlike 
unlike other versions of Smash that I'm used to, where you could, like, uh, where you could act out of, out of up B, like, almost immediately, like, uh, if you have time, go check out Project M. Um, you could, whenever you pull out, like, Cypher, you could do anything out of it, like, at any time, which effectively turns Cypher into a shine. Um, but anyway, like, I don't know if you have enough time to do anything useful with this grenade in out of that up B. The up B is going to use so much of that fuse. So picking up that grenade into up B, it kind of worked, but you didn't cook it enough. So like you're, you basically got a really small window to pull off this fancy move. So I don't know what the plan was here. Like, you see what I'm saying, right? You usually use the fuse time of the grenade to try and plan out your move, but you locked yourself into such a small window by, by like, up being, And up being will lock you in that inf in that animation for a while, so... It's, it's too constricting, I think, a move. And, yeah. You, you did hit the Mario, but just not cooked enough. Um... So... So you could have you could have done a kam kamikaze here, because the Mario was close. You pull out a grenade here, and then you know pick it up, and then you just wait for the Mario to come in, and at the right time just spot dodge, right? Start counting down, start counting to two and a half. At two and a half, just spot dodge, right? Kamikaze e made easy, or have the grenade and then just run to the Mario, anticipate that the Mario is going to hit you, and then shield, right? And then it explodes, explosive armor, right? Still kamikaze move, but I think that would have been way easier than to do this really fancy cypher grenade throw that didn't really work out. And you even hit yourself with it. And Mario got the kill, so. Try and try, like kamikaze, it's a move. Okay, so, so, so you covered two options here, which is which I liked, right? You did that the dash attack last time. You did the shield, anticipating the get up attack, um, and even then you could still react to the roll by doing a dash. So, this is what I want to see. Nice forward tilt, C four on the. Nice. Hmm. Could this have been improved? Okay, you shielded. Mario just grabbed you. See what I mean about that C-stick? You could have just... If you had a C-stick mapped, just forward tilt. Just do it. It's fast. It's, it's like a good panic move. Just forward tilt. Or like down tilt, whatever. Yeah. Don't stand there and chill. <laughs> Going crazy with these projectiles right now. You're not even cooking them. Like the Mario's just getting rid of them. Like something I found watching uh, Poppin' Swiss's uh, videos is that he likes to throw a grenade and then cook the second one. So you could do it. You could have done that as well, but you're just doing I think random B reverses and then leaving them all over the place. Need to pick. Uh, need to start shutting down the Mario's options. Nice up tilt. It's a camp game. You knew, you knew that grenade was coming, man. Just, just, just shield it. If you have no time, just shield it. Try and trade um, less evenly, because it's your, like, yeah. Trade less evenly, please. Yeah. 
good, good patient option. So you knew the Mario was fast and you were at a disadvantage. Good, good, like, patience here. And then picking your moment to make your move. I like that. We have to be patient as Snake. We can't, you know, just throw out anything. Oh man, oh man, um, like, uh, canc cancel it, like, instead of, like, just making an Akiya's fly around the place, um, so that's an option, right? Not actually a bad option, so I take that back. Um, but just randomly flying it around is committing your entire body to that action. So, instead of that, try, try doing that ballistic, uh, cancelled Nikita that I mentioned earlier. Just send it upwards, right? And then that's effectively like a timed, like a, 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 a Pikachu um, thunder on a timer. Just send it upwards, it's gonna come down eventually. So in that time where you cancel it, instead of like wasting all that time and all those frames, um, making it fly around guarding that area, um, just just fire another one. So, so Fire the first one, like position it where you want to on the stage, make it go directly upwards, work on that timing, think about like how long you want it to explode, cancel it, fire off, fire off another Nikita. And then hopefully you'll be able to trap the the Mario with in, in between two Nikitas, right? And that's, that's the dream. Um, the absolute like unicorn dream, right, is you, you get... You hit the Mario with your second Nikita, and then it combos into the second Nikita, right? And you have like a double explosion. It's like a double rainbow. It's amazing. You'll feel so good pulling that off. But, like, you doing, like, this really weird flight, doing that, that's just showing, to me, that's, it's showing that you don't, you're not confident with your aim. Like, uh... The Nikitas can't be wasted like this. You can't just fly it around in circles and hope Lamario jumps into it. Like, you could be setting up, you could be setting up like a, like a minefield with this Nikita right now, making it go ballistic. You could be like making it go ballistic, pull out grenades, cook the grenade, hit the Mario. You could, you know, you could zone this entire line, so the edge, the, the jump option with the Nikita and follow it up with a back air like any of those options is better than just making this fly around and once the mario dodges past this like you're not in a position to like defend right which is exactly what happens like that so not sure what the light throw is for all right so here right off stage you have exactly enough time to do one action why not just i don't think a medium throw would do here i think you need to do a hard throw um to get any value out of that grenade so off this edge like the light throw is really like not that great an option a better option would have been to hard throw and so at least it'll have a chance of hitting the mario and then if it hits the mario it will zone it'll create a landing zone for you so doing that grenade will end up somewhere and then once you grab edge with your cypher up b so you're gonna throw a grenade it's gonna land somewhere and then you're gonna cypher up b onto this edge and once the grenade goes off grenade goes off in two and a half seconds choose that landing zone to go into because when the grenade explodes no one's gonna be there right so consider doing that the light thread doesn't do anything for anybody <laughs> Okay, so you realize that dodge was late, right? See, like... I'm seeing this pattern of you dodging into the edge, and it's something I think you need to deprogram. See, like, and also the dodge was late. Mario already had his thing out, he just whiffed. So that dodge didn't do anything for anybody either. Like... You could have just rode this up. You know? Just rode this up. 
I'm trying to figure out why you did this. Is it because you you were going to think you were going to like get hit by this Mario? So that's why you anticipated the tech? If so, I respect that. But... Okay, so... If you had thrown a grenade, the grenade would be here. Because the Mario, that's where the Mario stood afterwards. So you at least have a grenade with the hard throw. Okay. So you were anticipating being hit. So I guess that's the mix-up you were trying to do. You were also... Were you hugging that edge? I hope you were. So you were. Alright. So I'm guessing it's just a mix-up. So I respect that. I take that back. But... Still, what I said about that grenade throw, though, you could have done that. Um, if you... I don't know if we had a read on this. I think this is the first time that Mario's ever chased you below the stage. Um, the second option would be to do a C4 recovery. And at this percentage, I don't think the C4 recovery would kill you. So if you did a C4 recovery, I think you would be at ultra high angle. And then you can just come up above stage. So... Also a second option, if you didn't figure that one, if you don't know about that one. Um, you could also do like a C4 recovery into tech recovery. So if you go like somewhere down here, I think, and then detonate C4, um, you could you can influence the trajectory, aim for the stage, and then do a tech off the stage. So this is what I call the Professor Pro recovery, because that's who I learned it from. Um, Professor Pro is a uh, Project M, professional Project M player. One of the best snakes I've ever seen. And I think one of the best iterations of snake in the history of Smash ever. Um, anyways, like, it's the it's a still a valid technique. Um, if you think you're, like, too damaged to get that, like, get the C4 recovery, you can go for a low C4 recovery and then tech off the stage. And if you... So, you know, you go down here, it explodes, it's going to send you up. Um, aim for that ricochet off the stage and then tech it, right? The tech will stop all of your momentum, allowing you to do a second um, up B or even grab edge. So a very valid um, recovery to learn. It's a really awesome recovery too, because it works at any percentage. So if you're like off the edge at 200% or something, it's probably the only recovery you have left because if you try and go for that edge any nair and any aerial will kill you so worth learning to get it done in the lab okay he, he's uh, nothing much to nothing much to comment there you tried to go for the kill it's unfortunate you didn't land it you got the cape. That's unfortunate. It's nice. Nice. Yeah. Alright. Um, I think that's a lot for you to deconstruct. I'll analyze the, the game, the, this game another one, but I'll just finish this off now, so... Yeah, thanks for watching. You've been epic. If you like what I do, like, follow, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I'm on Twitch as well. I'm not doing Smash stuff, doing Metal Gear stuff. So if you're interested in that, I'll see you in the Discord. And remember, you're pretty good.